So if you find something funny, you laugh. If you think something is true, you clap. Funny, you laugh. True, you clap. Let's try. I have huge tits. Well, f you all. And, um, <laughs> Before marriage, she was really hot. Before marriage, she's like, hi, I'm Sunita. After marriage, hi, I'm Sunita. <laughs> they will give you the script and they're like, okay, memorize it in five minutes. And I'm just looking at everybody and they would come back and in five minutes, the actors around me would have memorized everything. You realize how lucky you are when you're from Singapore, but also how mollycoddled you are and also how protected you are. It's a full packed room and the first two tables were, f were, were, were this group of white men. If I and your ex-girlfriend were drowning in the river, who would you save? <laughs> and the first joke I cracked, they laughed at me. It was instant validation and I realized that I can be my own writer, my own director, my own producer, you know, my own performer. And I'm like, this is the profession I have to be in. I said, listen, I've started doing stand-up comedy. I don't know, you know, which way to go. I don't know who my audiences are. I don't know how to divide my jokes. And he just looked at me and without even blinking, he's like, my next show is next week. Why don't you open for me five minutes? I will even pay you. I think generally female comedians are a bit more difficult because there are a lot of things they cannot talk about because they might sound feminist. When she spoke about it, I was so impressed because I wanted to see a woman Singapore stand-up comedian and finally there's someone and someone she's Indian also so it makes me a bit more prouder. 